First tonight for the Lone Star State as we track COVID cases. Texas has become the first state in the country to reach more than 1 million confirmed cases. Well, on Tuesday, Texas recorded 10,865 cases. That set a new daily record and surpassed the mark that we had set back in July. Now here in Jefferson County, as we track hospitalizations, general beds are up by one, 46 COVID patients in regular rooms, ICU beds uh, unchanged from yesterday, 19 COVID patients there. That puts the Jefferson County COVID hospitalization rate at 10%. So there's been an uptick in both COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations in the Southeast Texas region, which includes Galveston and Brazoria counties, in addition to us here in Jefferson County. In the last two months in this region, cases are up 30%, hospitalizations are up 41%. Now that has one ER doctor offering some words of warning, and 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley is with us with the trends that the doctor at Baptist Hospital is, is starting to monitor. Lauren? Jordan, I spoke with Dr. Kamar Arfin. He's a pulmonologist at Baptist Hospital. He's been seeing COVID-19 patients since the beginning of the pandemic, and tonight he's warning people not to let their guard down. Hospital beds are nearly full. That's how Dr. Arfin describes hospital bed capacity at Baptist. He thinks the uptick may be linked to cooler weather and more people being together inside. Dr. Arfin says poorly ventilated areas increase the risk of spreading COVID-19. Indoor gatherings riskier than being outside. But Dr. Arfin says the virus is so widespread it's hard to pinpoint exactly where patients have become infected. Dr. Arfin says based on what he's seeing at Baptist, he's already concerned. My concern is that when we get to the point that we do not have hospital bed or have a manpower able to take care of these people of the patient, so those patients uh, will not have a good outcome and which could be a significant number. Uh, we reached out to Christus to find out if doctors there are experiencing a similar surge. A spokesperson there says patient numbers remain steady and they're working to protect both patients and the staff. Now coming up tonight at 6, Dr. Arfin shares what needs to be done to lower the hospitalization rate. I'll break that down in just about an hour. Lauren Hensley, 12 News.